Brian Davis, Home Improved Man. Uh, going to take a, a little time to make a short, going to make a short little video here uh, about pouring epoxy. Uh, it's not going to be a how-to or a tutorial. It's just kind of showing the process. I'm going to use two different methods. Uh, first, I'm going to do a what's sometimes called a dirty pour or an exotic pour, uh, where the the colors are mixed unevenly in a bucket and then poured out, creating a very striated look. And then on the smaller table, I'm going to do a marble looking pour where there, there will be um, patches of shade, patches of, or, or lines of veins. Um, and we'll see how they, look, they turn out. This is not something I do a lot of, and uh, I'm excited to see what the results will be. I've already put down the primer coat, and I've wrapped the edges in tape to contain the epoxy so that it's allowed to sit um, primarily over on, on the top surface. And then uh, near the end of the process, we'll remove the tape so that we can uh, allow the, the epoxy then to pour over the edge at the final stages to give it the look as if it were cut from stone so that the pattern on the top is continued down the edges. Uh, but if you do that too soon, there, it, it'll, all the epoxy will just pour out off the top. So we wait till um, closer to the end of the process to allow that to happen. Enjoy the show. Thank you. 